Hey friend, let's talk about working for fun companies and why I don't want to do that. Weird, right? It seems every software developer's dream is to work in the biggest tech companies, so why I am not looking forward to that and not even trying to get in. I'm not saying I could get a job at Google tomorrow, but frankly, I don't want that. And of course, I'm not the only one who doesn't work for fun, there are many more developers. Let me explain why, and probably you may consider choosing different career path as well. Corporate environment. The corporate environment may be not not your cup of tea. I didn't work at fun companies, but I worked for a US company, quite big one, and moved through all the corporate career path from regular employee to team lead and then up to senior management. I finished my corporate career as a head of product management responsible for three countries, but I will not spend more time talking about that. Very few people will say that they enjoy corporate environment and working in corporations. You can start from working in offices and dealing with corporate politics, ending with matrix responsibility, meaning less reports and presentations and so on. So that's very different environment if you compare with small and medium sized businesses. Working in silos. Forget about so named full stack development. Corporations usually work in silos, niche it down to a specific tech stack. In smaller companies you can even be solo developer for their mobile application or even handle something more. And relatively small team can work on all the product aspects. Basically you can see all the stack what is used for that company that product. So you are learning much more in the process. In opposite, in corporate environment, you can work on some in-house library that keeps all the moving parts and legacy code together. So that probably is not so exciting. Small impact at the product. Working in big company, you will have very small impact on the tech product. As I said, work in corporations usually is organized in silos and you will work on some very niche and specific thing. Forget about building mobile app from scratch and all that stuff. For the first few years, you most likely will work on some screens tested internally and never will release that in production. And be ready to stick with old tech support. Do not expect to jump on new OS versions or Android versions early. I heard that you could become lucky in Apple for example. They just rewrote the weather app from scratch using Swift UI, but <laughs> you have to be lucky to jump on right team in right time and so on. In opposite working on smaller projects, you will have much more significant impact on end product. In my opinion, that is more interesting than working on minor features in huge product. So we are on point four, I guess. Job interviews. <laughs> Job interviews is big no-no in fun companies for me personally. Those coding challenges are just ridiculous. You have to learn and try and specifically to pass their interviews. Coding challenges with reverse link lists or bubble sort on the whiteboard are, in my opinion, just dumb and have nothing in common with actual work tasks. If you like to get job in fun companies, you should prepare for interviews by studying what you will not use in day-to-day -day work. I'm not saying that you will get a job without an interview in any other tech company. Sure, you will have a few rounds of them, tech interviews, human resources interviews, all that stuff, but most likely you will have closer to real life questions, tests and so on. Like take home coding projects or technical interviews related to work what you expected to do in a role to which you applied. I already forgot five. Money. Yes, I know, you can earn an excellent salary working for fun companies, but if you have to move to US for that salary, that is not always the best option. You can work from comfort at your home for smaller US company, earn a little bit less, but have significant lower life expenses. So at the end of the day, the biggest number in the work proposal doesn't mean that you earn more. You can actually earn more working for other companies than fun. I'm choosing to work for smaller companies as a consultant or freelancer, and that allows me to stay outside of corporate culture and keep clarity of mind that I am not a part of company, family or some cult, whatever. Fun companies expect that you are living to work for them. Smaller companies usually have a more reasonable understanding of work-life balance. We are just in agreement to exchange my skills and time per month. And let me tell you a secret. Usually, consultants in the company are paid more than regular employees. So, if the salary is essential for you, consider becoming consultant who is jumping between companies. Freelancer or consultant, that is the same thing, use whatever name you like. Consultant sounds a bit more pricey, so I'm sticking with that. I see freelancing as gateway drug to own business building. Personal freedom and time management are available for me, and my end goal is to build my own business and have semi-passive revenue 
learning from that. Last but not least, do not forget that fun companies are a small part of the, all the tech industry and there are plenty of jobs in other companies, probably with the same salary level. If you need more advice how to get into tech careers, check out this playlist. Thank you for watching. See you next one. Bye.